and inserted Vanderbilt. I'll be interested to see if the Nuggets then ignore Vanderbilt at the other end. Al Schroeder did start the last two games, game six of the previous round and the other night. As Denver Vanderbilt dies on it, couldn't get it. Murray lost it. Russell has it. Here comes Vanderbilt already paying dividends. Well, the start for the Lakers the other night was frightening as Jokic and the Nuggets right from the get-go are in control until late in the third quarter when every, everything turned around. And Vanderbilt is on Jamal Murray. I like right away allowing Anthony Davis to play one-on-one. -on -one. Murray fires away. And the rebound goes to James. James has been rebounding like a demon throughout these playoffs. Austin Reeves knocks down his first shot, and it's quickly 5-0. Well, Reeves knocked down threes, five or for nine in game one, really shot it well. Uh, he's been on a great stretch. Lost out of bounds, deflected. Still Denver ball, 10 to shoot. And right away, active hands. Sacrificing your body. And then off to the races. Quality offense in transition off of the great defense. Jokic, who had that phenomenal first quarter on Tuesday night in game one. Pass up. Now Porter fires away. Porter's shot misses. James snatches the rebound. Gordon is guarding LeBron James. Now picks up Davis. Davis quickly to the rim. Can't get it. Had it. Lost it. Nuggets the other way. Gordon throws it behind Porter and a turnover. Two quick turnovers for the Nuggets. They had 11 total in game one. That was one of the things, Jeff, and you talked about this in game one. Lakers shot 55% from the field. A foul on KCP picking up Andrew Russell full court. Uh, he did not like the call. But picks up the personal. They're going to reset the shot clock. Are you talking about the Lakers? They shot 55% from the field, 46 from three, seven turnovers, and still lost the game on a road. They played a brilliant offensive game. Unfortunately, they dug themselves a hole with poor defensive transition and awful rebound. There's Russell. Russell was a topic after game one. He struggled. Caldwell Pope all over him. Russell goes right to the rim and draws a foul. That's going to be two on Caldwell Pope. And he is instrumental to their defense. Darwin Ham talked about it. His conversation with D'Angelo Russell wants him to play with confidence and play aggressive. And certainly putting pressure on KCP, forcing him to pick up a second foul early in this ballgame, taking the perimeter defensive stopper out of the lineup. So Russell will shoot the two free throws. This is the first we check in with Lisa. Hey, Michael, one of the strategies the Nuggets went into game one with was limiting D'Angelo Russell. Bruce Brown said yesterday that was our goal to take D'Lo out of the game. And Michael Malone referenced that as well when he said a guy who's played really well for them wasn't on the floor in the fourth quarter. D'Angelo Russell, that to me is an interesting storyline. Darvin Ham says he told Russell, I don't care what anybody's saying about you defensively. I just need you to rebound. And offensively, Ham said he told Russell, just be you. Be aggressive, decisive. Be assertive, Mike. All right, thank you, Lisa. Unusual, guys, to see somebody call out specifically about how they went at him. Nice give and go. Gordon the finish on a beautiful pass from Jokic. Actually, to me, it's foolish. It's foolish to... I don't think it gives a guy more energy necessarily, but I just think show respect to the team you're playing because D'Angelo Russell has proven he can score... Jokic couldn't get it to go. Gordon gets the rebound and throws it back down. Davis played Jokic beautifully on the initial shot attempt, but Aaron Gordon with a thunderous dunk. Reeves gets inside. Momentarily stripped. Bruce Brown in for Colgo Bolt. Brown, excellent defensive player, one of the best bench players in these playoffs and in the regular season. Davis, and that shot won't count. A whistle beforehand. Defensive three-second violation called. But again, Aaron Gordon, after the miss, no gang rebounding by the Lakers. Gordon, second layup and or dunk to start this game. 
But you're right. You see two guys in purple and gold in the paint area. Lakers got a gang rebound. You got to see five guys and great pass and cut delivery from Joker to Gordon with the finish. There's Russell, very aggressive early. Reeves, no hesitation on his three. That's good. Reeves knocks down another. He has been on some tear. The last four games plus tonight, he's 17 of 28 from three. That's incredible. He's going to make a lot of money in free agency. Porter wants it. He's got Russell on him, gets inside, gathers, and banks it home. Russell thought he got hit in the face. Alley up, Davis has to flex off the rim. Here's the pace the Nuggets want to play. Brown kicks it out. Murray, three-pointer. That's the first thing Mike Malone said earlier today. We need to keep that pace that we had in the first quarter, first half, all game long tonight. Reeves, not that time, quarter of the rebound. He had ten boards in game one. Foul on the entry pass. LeBron James picks up his first. Aaron Gordon does. Aaron Gordon seals hard as he took a little shot in the face. But Aaron Gordon does a good job leaking out and sealing hard right there. I'm not sure it was a foul or not, but that's what Gordon does very, very well. James uh, Murray, right down inside. Jokic, quick spin off the glass. A good decision by Murray. Instead of jacking up a three, allowing Joker to repose. James inside Vanderbilt. A late whistle, but Porter commits the foul. And Vanderbilt's going to shoot a couple. 